So this is Janine. I'm going to take you for a little walk around the cottage and the garden field that we have use of. It's a lovely sunny day in Cornwall and we're just going to go for a nice walk. Are you going to come with me? Husband's going to come with me. Right, so off we go. Growing some of our own veg, I'll show you a bit better later. Not actually walked the field before. The view's amazing. How much of this field have we got roughly? It is 40 by 75 foot, the amount of land we have. I've oh, not ever walked around the field because it's usually high with grass like that. trees are that, do we know? A sycamore tree. Nice. Nice bit of shade. <laughs> oh, quite near them. Is that across the road? Mm. Oh yeah. Sort of on a quite a busy road but we're like tucked, tucked away. We're like sideways on instead of front ways on to the road. I'll show you the rest of the things now in the garden. So we've got where we collect the grass. There's a compost bin there. It's a beautiful type of like Christmas tree and it's got oh, things growing all in it. Brambles, which isn't very good, but the roses look really pretty in it. This was here when we moved in. I think it's like pet cemetery, so out of respect, we'll leave that there. Um, got a lot still to do. Our husband says it's two dogs. Oh yeah, it's two. Yeah. So we've we sort of got. Where we've cut the grass. And that bit we've got stuff. We're, we're going to do raised beds at some point, but we need the time to do it. So that makes you chair things. So we've got areas to clear. That rose that's not flowering at the minute is this is a beautiful yellow rose. This pink one's still flowering. But I love the little tree that was handed down from generation to generation that we're looking after and taking with us. The washing line we got finished. We're gonna um, line it and put chippings there. We're using that conservatory furniture from outside, like wicker furniture. These are our potatoes that we're growing and my husband's growing, I'm helping him. Um, need to water in again in a minute, but I'm surprised they growed. <laughs> we haven't done it before, so it's a learning curve. We just have to hope now we get some crop, what, three more on the other side, and some small ones. 
we saw small ones in the pots because the earth like moved. So hopefully the thing there's a lot to do and get ready here. So we moved in in the winter and it was a bit wet and then we've been busy with our um, growing runner beans again or we are. We've got flowers on that one look. Gonna get some nice beans. So hopefully like these two lots are quite far on now and those are like not so so hopefully we can um get later crop off that and then fancy's having a go at growing some sorts of flowers but um i'm not very good at doing that sort of thing so i just chucked it in the pot i don't know what these are now my husband thought those carrots so they have got some sort of flower coming on them. I bought some peas and I've got flowers coming on them. Oh, they're growing around my thing. <laughs> my ladybird. Oh no. Ross's sunflower seeds that he uh, planted in some mud. Some tomato plants. I'm going to have to stake this one in a minute because he's falling over. I don't know if you know, but we are from Cornwall and we are proud of it. Some flowers there that I put in, but they're not growing very tall because I could have done with being put in taller pots, bigger pots. Some more tomatoes. This is a aquilegia and this is supposed to be a jasmine. It almost died, we cut it right back. I don't think I planted it very well, it's a bit wobbly. Herbs never do very well for me. It's more of Ross's flower seeds in mud, which I need to try and do something else with. Tomatoes, I have actually got tomatoes coming, look. I got tomatoes coming. And on this one, just like. And then I grew some night scented stocks. Not many came out, but and some lavender we got given I got given this plant I don't know what it is I'll probably kill it these aren't doing very well and these are indoors ones and I've got this I think it's aloe vera I'm trying to put them outside to dry off so that's our outdoor space really um, I've got a shed there we use and yeah that's about it so we've got a lot of work to do during the winter to get some raised beds and stuff in. So I'll leave you for now and catch you later. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, any tips on gardening or anything would be greatly appreciated. Take care and speak to you soon. Bye.